If you want to hear my final update for the fifth edition of the Roulette Pen Collab, then stick around. Hi there, it's Hélène with another video and this is a, it's bittersweet. It is the last update for the fifth edition of the Roulette Pen Collab. It has been a ton of fun. It's my third time participating and I'm so grateful to be part of this fantastic group. And I also cannot wait to tell you what my updates are. If you are not familiar with the Roulette Pen Collab, it is a bunch of people. We're in the hundreds now. And what we do is we select six items from a randomized list of categories of products which we pick by using a number randomizer on our phone or however we can randomize numbers and we select six items and then when we reach our goals with different items we roll them out and roll in new items again based on a randomized program. It's been a lot of fun and this one, this edition, my third time participating, has been by far the most fun. I have had such good luck with the items that I've rolled in and out of the project. It's been just really, really, really good. And like I said in the last video, I am not under any illusion that this is going to be uh, the case for me every time. Some projects are harder than others and I suspect that <laughs> the next project I will be paying for my good fortune in this one. But still, it's it's a uh, I am enjoying it, I'm taking it moment by moment, and it's been great. If you are not familiar a whole lot with the history of this um, roulette pen collab, it was started by two YouTubers, two panning uh, experts <laughs> on YouTube, one of, of whom is uh, Rebecca Morgan uh, from Canada, and the other one is Alexi, and Alexi is from Sweden, I believe. So those two fine ladies are the um, top dogs, I guess, in this whole group. So I strongly suggest you take a look at their channel. Their channel and their video links uh, to their final update will be in the description box, so you can take a look. What can I say? I am uh, just going to go right into those six products and show you my progress and um, give you some final thoughts since we are uh, wrapping up for uh, the 15th of August and I guess we're going to take a break and I heard rumors that there's another one, another edition uh, coming up I'm guessing at the very end of summer and I will probably sign up for that one as well because they are so much fun. Now if you want to just jump to the progress pictures, I will put a timestamp right here so that you can take a look at those. Uh, but for those of you who want to hear the progress and then see the pictures, good for you. Here, here we go. I will start with um, just basically whichever product and, and go from there. This is a product that I put in just this past month and it is the Marc Jacobs Frost Palette and it looks like this. Now what I said last month is that I really wanted to try to finish these two products and I am definitely not done but I have a lot of progress. I only have maybe a week's worth left. Maybe, yeah, a week's worth because I use it as a brow bone highlight. I have it on today. Um, it's called Hey Girl Hey and I really want to use it up. So that is the one product and then the other product I really focused on was this one which is serving up and I have used quite a bit of it but that one I have probably a month or a month of of use left and so I am actually going to roll this one into a 10 uses project um, that I'm introducing uh, shortly on this channel and um, and hopefully I will, through that project, really keep fo focusing on this palette and, and get through it. But I'm happy with the progress. I got quite a bit of it um, used up and it's going to be a relief to get those two pans completely cleared up. It's gorgeous colors. I just am upset because they actually broke. I dropped this uh, a couple of months ago and it's just irritating me because it's a constant reminder of the product that I lost. 
uh, which is almost well, at least two and a half pans worth and it just it irks me <laughs> so I just want it done the next product I just for some reason didn't use well not for some reason I was trying to use up another product in my rolling project pan and I had a uh, lip balm that I was trying to use up so I didn't use this one quite so much it was brand new when I put it into the project this past month and I did manage to put a dent into it, but I didn't use it as much as I thought I would. And yeah, I was trying to pan a lip balm and I was also trying to pan the one I'm wearing right now, which is a, um, a, a high shine uh, lip gloss from Estee Lauder. And so this Beach Babe, uh, the, the Color Splash lipsticks, this is a, a deluxe sample. I, I did use a handful of times, but obviously did not spend enough time using it to really see that much progress. But at least it went from unused to used a handful of times. And I, th I think that's still progress and I'm, I'm happy with it. Could I have focused on it more? Yes. But the fact that I was focusing on other penning products makes me feel good because either way I'm using up uh, lip products that I'm trying to uh, go through and it's given me some variety throughout the month so, so I'm okay with it. Next up is another product that I have managed to use about somewhere between five and eight times and it is the Becca Opal Highlighter and the reason I'm trying to use it is because it is crumbling and I'm trying to use the loose powder and little bits uh, before I repress it because if you've repressed a product you know that you need to have less product than uh, what was originally in the package because you can't quite press it down the same way as it came initially and so that's what I'm going to continue to do I'm hoping it doesn't crumble more though <laughs> And so I try to, I keep it separately in my makeup drawer so it doesn't get banged around so much, but I'm semi-successful. Um, but am I still using it? Yes. I had some other highlighters to focus on uh, based on my um, rolling palette collection project. And so it's, um, or roulette um, palette collection, I guess it's what it's, it's, what it's called. <laughs> Um, but I will focus on this when I'm not needing to use um, other highlighters. So it's basically my default go-to whenever I can. And so I'm glad it was in this project because it certainly got a little bit more attention than I think it would have gotten otherwise. It's fine. I'm, I'm happy I used it and will continue to use it. This next product I'm really happy about. I was at the X way up here. Now this is, this is a little dropper, right? So I was at the X up here and now I am under the R. So it's quite a bit of progress here. And I use a tiny drop of this every day, but I'm using it every day. And so it is half empty at this point and I'm really happy about that uh, because it means that I'm getting through it and I've had this bottle for a good year and I would like to use it. It is a liquid product and I don't think that it will uh, last all that long if I don't make my way through it. And I have from two other brands, a couple of other containers of this type of illuminating um, liquid. So I do want to finish this one. It is a very good product. I have it mixed in with my foundation today and it just gives me a little bit of illumination. I like it, it's a little bit glowy. And it's great for summer. I mean, you want that kind of healthy um, glow in the summer. And it, I think with a bronzed face, it, it, looks, it looks pretty good. Will I continue to use it past this project? Yes. Putting it in this project was to make me, to make sure it became part of my daily habit. And it has. And so I'm not worried about not using it in the future. So uh, really happy halfway through and probably by the end of the summer, I'll be done with it. So that's great. Now, you know I keep the best for last on this channel. So I have a couple of empties for you. First one was not hard to finish, which was this coconut milk leave-in conditioner for frizz control. And I was happy to put this in this project because it's only uh, one ounce. And the problem is I kept forgetting about it. And so it'd get pushed back, pushed back, pushed back. But because it was in my basket for this project, it was front and center. And I used it in about, I think it was four uses, I was done. It sucks. <laughs> it 
it's a really bad product. It made my hair look terrible. I'm using a different uh, leave-in conditioner right now, which is the John Frieda, I think, um, leave-in conditioner. It's definitely better, but it is not as good as the product called Gliss from Schwarzkopf. That's a hard name to say. That is the one that has dethroned them all, but that John Frieda, I have three bottles of it. I will continue to use it even if my hair is not perfect. <laughs> Um, but this one definitely is a hard pass and it's the most expensive out of all of them by, by far. It is not worth the money at all. Even though this was a sample, I, it has confirmed that I will never purchase this product. I know they say never say never, but the chances are I will not purchase this product. It just made the hair not curl. It kept a sort of straggly and, and just just like hay, just just crispy and weird, almost greasy looking, and it it didn't do it didn't do me any favors whatsoever. I would have been better off not putting any leave-in conditioner at all. So not not a great experience with that one. And finally, the product that I am the most happy about is this. This is a Joe Fresh lip balm in pecan or pecan, depending where you're from. And I managed to not only finish it, but I finished it. I scraped everything in this container and put it into a little, just a little container where I could use my finger and use it as if it were a pot balm. And it, it's my favorite one of the Joe Fresh line. It is very flattering on the lips and very soothing. And I, it was great. It was great to get through one of these because I have a handful of them. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed uh, focusing on keeping my lips happy. And it was it was great to have it in the project. And I'm so pleased to have finished it for this finale. So there you have it. Uh, definitely two products finished. Two products that I focused on um, just as a default, which is fine. That was the highlighter and the um, cover FX drops. And then a couple of products that I just really wanted to give attention to, which was uh, the Color Splash lipstick in Beach Babe and the Marc Jacobs Leopard Frost. I'm happy. I really think, like I said at the beginning, this project has been very good to me. I appreciate it very much. I'm so grateful. And and again, I'm also grateful uh, to Rebecca and Alexi for letting me participate again this, uh, this round or this edition. And I am definitely signing up for the next one. All right, guys, this is the moment you've been waiting for. Here are the pictures. Enjoy. The only thing I want to say is you will not see any sort of weighing on this specific update because my scale broke. My scale broke, I ordered another one, but it will not be in time for me to finish up the edits, include it, and have it come out in time. So, sorry about that, but life happens. If you are panning, I would love to hear what you're up to. And if uh, you have questions or comments regarding my progress on this edition of the Roulette Pen Collab and this final update, please leave me a comment or your questions down below. That'd be great. And that's it. I will simply thank you so much for watching because I appreciate it every time. And I do look forward to seeing you in the next video. And assuming there's another edition, 
I hope you'll join me for that one as well. But for now, take care. Thank you.